Okay, our next process is when we have the uh, bits cut, or excuse me, the blanks cut, we're now going to drill a hole through the center for the uh, brass tube. Okay, so I have, right now I have four blanks here, and again I'm going to cut through the center. Now you can take a uh, square and you can draw lines from corner to corner, and then the other corner to corner making an X with your pencil across to mark the very center of the blank, okay? In this case, I've done enough of these drillings, I'm just gonna take and line the bit up to the center and drill through it. Now, the key is to not force the bit. You have to chuck the bit up all the way into the chuck so that it doesn't have any uh, wander in the bit because it wants to wander through these uh, blanks. We're drilling through sh the shorter blanks, not a longer blank, because then it drills uh, truer and straighter. I have a vise here, so a drill press vise. The table has been squared to the drill press. I have two blocks with V's notches in them so that we can place the blanks inside of to then clamp into the vise to hold them. Now the biggest key is to make sure that on the bottom side of the vise you can see the blank so that when we drill through, we're not drilling into the vise itself or the table in the drill press. Okay, so I'm going to lower the table here just a little bit. I'm going to line up my drill bit to center of the blank, and then I'm going to drill through. Make sure you're backing out of the uh, blank every so often to bring the wood chips out otherwise it tends to make the drill bit wander through the blank itself. And when I say back out I don't mean all the way out of the blank just the ways back. Make sure you drill all the way through and once complete we can take the blank out and we can see that the holes drilled all the way through. And our blanks should be ready to then glue up. Okay, to put tubes into our blanks, so we have our blanks drilled out, we just went through that process, we're now going to put the tubes that come in our pen kits inside the blanks. Okay, to do this we have to have sandpaper, we have to have our tubes, our blanks, we have a two-part epoxy, and the two-part epoxy gets mixed 50-50. Have a board to mix the epoxy on and a stick to mix the epoxy. Okay, and then I just take and I roll the top end, or excuse me, the bottom end of the, of the tube into the epoxy. And then you slide that bottom end into the blank itself. And then we allow it to dry for, I believe it says 12 hours on the epoxy tubes. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do half and half. And if you do like a dime size amount of each of these should be plenty for I have four blanks right here now the key is to make sure that the glue gets mixed up to a hundred percent of its capacity here So I mix this, and if you take a couple of minutes just to mix it, that should be plenty. It's not like a 10 minute process here. And I can use this stick to put this glue on the tubes. I'm going to take the tube real quick, and I'm just going to rough it up. The little scratches on the tube We'll allow it to hold into the wood blank. And again, I guess the, the biggest step here is to not get any of the glue inside of the tube. If you get the glue inside the tube, it tends not to, you can't get your mandrel through it. Okay, so I have just a little amount of glue on there. Take the wood blank. And I like to spin this thing as it goes in there. And you want to set it so that it's
flush or beyond flush of the uh, blank itself. And I'll do one more here. And in this process, I'm going to do this four times. You have about five minutes to work with before the epoxy sets up on the board, starts to set up. So we're in a little bit of a hurry, but not a big hurry. And that's what it takes to glue the